Hello everybody, my name is Anne. I am also known as Maestro on Roblox. I am the co-founder of Full Flower Studio, but I'm also a programmer, the creator of My Droplets, and also Mermaid Light. I'm Sigmaster Luke. I've been at Roblox as a player for 12 years. I've also been working at Roblox for eight, 10 years, five years. I think it's eight <laughs> years, uh, something like that. I work on the software engineering team, but I also make games on Roblox all the time. And many of you guys may know me for Natural Disaster Survival. It's my favorite, most popular game of mine. Today, we are going to be going over five different tips with you about how you can teach yourself to code on Roblox. We're going to dive into number one. Number one being giving yourself small tasks. With that, it's just important for you to come up with a few simple ideas that you can open up studio and create in like 10 or 15 minutes. It could be super simple. I used to just take parts and make them on touched events where it would explode when you touched it. And it would be a lot of fun because with Roblox there's a lot of physics involved so you could create a really cool game where things just exploded and it would be magical and amazing and super simple and it would help you learn. You should always be starting off small. Always start small and just get your foot in the door. For giving yourself small tasks, it's fantastic to just tinker around with the small pieces of scripts. Like once you figure out how to make a part explode or maybe make a part like listen to being touched or kill somebody or change color, you just mess with these small little pieces and you can make it into something that's even better. You can make a dance floor. One of the first things that I made just with really simple scripts was once you know how to make a little timer that repeats over time, and then also making a part explode. I, I made an entire obstacle course, and it took players like 30 minutes to complete. It was pretty fun, and all all the script was was just timers and explosions, and players had to like go through the obstacle course by timing these explosions. And I, I made different little tricks that you had to do with with such simple programming. And there's a lot of this all over the place. You don't need to start big to actually make a fun game. Number two is to edit pre-existing code. So getting into the toolbox in the toolbar of studio. You can just insert anything you want that other people have made, they're all there. But you just insert something and then in Explorer you can see everything that makes up this model that you just inserted. A lot of times you're not gonna get exactly what you're looking for, but you'll get tons of code that you can look through and you can make that code do whatever you want. You can use some of that code to help you build what you want or you can just recolor the car to be blue and have that. And a lot of programming is like that or a lot of game development is like that is using pre-existing content. Cutting and pasting code and also from your projects, from Toolbox, from Stack Overflow, from the dev forms, from your friend, like how do I do this? And they copy and paste you something from their place. Mm -hmm. Previous projects, definitely. That's where I get yeah. a lot of mine from. For number three, I wanted to go over asking other people for help as much as you can. So Roblox has this huge community of people. We're all learning, we're all growing together and there's a lot of people out there that are really kind and they want to help you out in growing yourself as a programmer or just in any kind of capacity if you're going to be a 3D model or anything like people love to help and teach and mentor and all that kind of stuff yeah you can also like make friends with people who are in game who are talking about wanting to make games together it's a learning experience for everybody yourself and your friends and i think that's what powered me through my career as becoming where i am now and still continuing to grow as a as a developer it's just having friends who like to develop because you can ask each other questions and it, it helps both you when you answer and when you you know, get answers or asking for help. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot from working with you two because I previously I, I didn't have the greatest knowledge in scripting in Lua, but because I was able to like have roommates and live with people who were programmers, like I was able to accelerate my learning so quickly and kind of like go from zero to 100 in a year and be able to like create full games, which has been really helpful. Yeah, well, I mean, whether it be you know, someone on the developer forums, be it a sibling, be it a roommate. So having anyone to like talk with about this just helps you kind of move along, I think. When you're learning with somebody, it can help a lot. For number four, you can also find so many useful resources and tutorials on the internet. The internet is free. That's what's really cool about it. Um, I know there's a lot of really great YouTubers that have scripting tutorials like Alvin Blocks. He has like full series of how to completely make a whole game. Even the Roblox Wiki, they have tutorials on how to make full games. They have like editable places to teach you how to make a game. 
Again, the online internet, there's so many useful resources out there. If you're a video person, there's lots of great video tutorials that you can follow along with. Sometimes it helps actually, for me, I found to have like it as text so I can just kind of go through at my own pace. But nothing wrong with pausing videos and trying to follow along as other people go. Uh, I just like being able to copy immediately from what I'm looking at. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. Like yeah. people will be like typing out like entire systems, you just like you have to kind of follow along and type them out, but you really just want to like be able to. It's a six minute video, but then when copy you, and paste it. When you try, yeah, when you try putting it yourself, it's like you know thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there are tons of great resources out there. Videos. There's nothing wrong with videos or text tutorials, and a lot of on the wiki. When I'm going to look up how something works, it actually will have a tutorial right there or like example code and just using that code, copying, pasting it and toying around with it. It's super helpful as well. Number five is to be persistent. With that, you have to make sure that you are applying what you learn daily if you can through all of the other things that I mentioned before, like finding really small things to create in studio, watching videos, checking in with your friends who are also part of the community and making games that can also be helpful too. Yeah, because you, you end up building these commitments with other people. Yeah. Uh, working with other people on projects helps you be persistent. But just staying at it, you don't even need to like make it like homework, but it can help if you say like at least one hour a day at this time I'm going to work on my game, my project, or I'm going to mess around in studio. But yeah, as long as you stay with it, it will help you a lot and you'll be able to keep it fresh in your mind and just keep that momentum going. And eventually you will only have to go into the wiki sometimes and remember how to do things. It's not uh, true. I think I go in the wiki more now. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I use, I use the wiki so much more now. Well, like I used to go in the wiki to remember how to like, I don't know, write a function and yeah. that kind of stuff. Like that stuff was like super basic, but... Yeah, um, the more you do it, you yeah. get more fun with it. Well, those are some different tips that we have for you to apply to become a coder and make your own games on Roblox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any tips that you want to share on becoming a good code on Roblox, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.